Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Virgo, so it's January and I want to start first I've done everybody's a little bit different. All the same elements are in there, but in a different order. For you, I'm going to start with your crystal of the month, which is Chrysoscola. Anyway, so this is about emotional awareness. It's about healing. It's about stability, self-awareness, um, acceptance of changing. It helps you to set goals and to strive towards them, balances out your energies. It encourages feelings of like forgiveness and like kind of releases guilty feelings. And it harmonizes groups. So this is like a really good one to have um, in a classroom or in a work setting where you have to work as a team. So anyway, it does a lot of things, but I just kind of wanted to set the tone with that um, so you know maybe what kind of stone you need to get through this month. So you can get one from me, you can get one from your local rock store, whatever, um, but there's more information about what this one does on my website. Okay, so moving forward from there. Let's talk about your lucky and unlucky days of the month. So the 13th is going to be your lucky day of January. The second is actually your um, unluckiest day of January. So whatever that means to you, if you want to write that down or not, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a little cheat sheet and put that on my website for each um, sign in case you want to refer back to it. Like, what the fuck did she say? Then you'll have it so you don't have to watch the whole video again. Although, you can. Um, anyway, so... What I have for you, let's just start with what does January kind of look like, okay? And they're saying the death card in reverse. So it feels like things aren't really changing. And so you might feel like you want to force a change, you know? Like you might get bored and like, ooh, I want to force a change right here because I it's a new year, new me. <laughs> and what they're saying is, you know, but really you don't have that kind of choice right now. Like any changes that you try to force, you're going to end up feeling like you want to change, like you're going to force a change again. And it's like because you're trying to create something positive, okay, but maybe it will have an adverse effect or it won't go the way that, it, that you want it to. Like you don't, it's not necessarily like things are bad, but it's like, mm, I'm bored. Okay, and they're like, right now is just not the time to go like creating these huge changes. It just isn't. Like, you're going to be bored no matter what you instigate right now, essentially, is what they're saying. And so they're saying, but you know what? Like, no news is good news. And this is a time where you kind of like re realize like your own inner strength. And you're becoming more self-aware in the month of January. And you're realizing your value 
okay? And you're becoming more tactful and you're kind of planning and plotting. It's just not the month to execute those plans necessarily. Does that make sense? So what I see here for you is um, we've got this card say, saying virtue, okay? And it's saying you're supposed to acknowledge your loving and spiritual attributes in order to help others grow. So like your strengths are, and this is why you don't want to go like pushing things, okay, why maybe your own life isn't currently changing, you're almost leading by example. Your strengths are kind of like a beacon of light and hope for other people. Like other people are going to look to you and they're going to go, ooh, want to be like her, want to be like him, okay? And by living your life a certain way, even when it's boring, by continuing to be predictable in like the way that you express yourself, as like a loving, caring, you know, nice person or whatever it is, <laughs> um, people are going to notice that and they're going to commend you for it. Whether they do that verbally or they emulate you <laughs> or um, even if they don't tell you at all, that's kind of the case in the month of January. So anyway, the thing is, is that your affirmation says, I know that I'm never alone. So you might be bored and you might not notice that other people are looking to you. I want you to see here that each of these people here are shining a light. And you are one of these people shining a light for others. Even if they're not in communication with you, they're watching what you're doing. Okay? So this is a month about communication because blue correlates to the throat chakra even though this month you're going to want to focus more on your root chakra. Um, and we can talk more about that. But if you're going to do like a meditation or something, you want to do it for your root chakra, mostly because the chakra system is like the Maslow's Pyramid where like the foundational things need to be strong and sturdy before you can really master the other ones. So anyway, um, the affirmation you're going to say is, I know that I'm never alone. Like you have angelic support around you and there are people who care about you whether they're reaching out or not. January, like around the holidays and stuff like that can be a busy time for a lot of people, but it can also be a hard time. And so you just by like continuing to be who you are and shining your light, it's actually like a favor or a service to other people. And you need to remember that that's one of your strengths. Like just your being who you are is one of your strengths, even though it doesn't feel like it's paying off for you personally, um, because you might be feeling a little bit lonely in the month of January, but you're not alone. So remember that. Okay. So anyway, um, in January, your color energy is jade. And so this is a heart chakra energy, okay? These trees were only able to grow so big and so tall, um, you know, because of the love light that you're shining. Look at that sunlight coming out of there. But also because it had a strong root chakra. If these trees had like really small roots like this, like in the ground, they will blow over in the wind right away. So those roots go deep in there. So this is all about, like I said, bringing it full circle, um, self-awareness. This month is like about like, this is who I am and I am strong and I shine my light out of my heart chakra um, for all people to see whether I notice that they're seeing it or not because people are seeing it and that's the thing. You're not so alone as you think you are, okay? So anyway, with Jade, um, an affirmation that you might also want to say is the universe supports my goals and my dreams and manifest them into physical reality. But you might not notice that right away. You might be trying to force a change, but the universe works like, or God or whatever, works like in its own time, in its own way. So um, sometimes blessings and gifts are going to come to you in ways that you could never imagine. And so if you go trying to like force an outcome, it's not going to work out the way that you want, which is why they're like, just go with the flow, chill the fuck out, remember you're not alone, Keep shining your light even though you're getting a little bored while you wait, but things are going to start flowing to you, okay? Now, what they're saying is, in this time, you can be creating of art. New beginnings are happening because it's January, it's a new year, that will create um, greater stability like with that root chakra. What they're saying here is that, okay, so the fire is that spark of creativity, and then you have water, here behind it your emotions and we're trying to find the balance between both like this would be like the water sign right like the Scorpio um, and this is like that creativity that fire with the the Leo sign okay as the lion and the eagle but 
you notice how they're flip-flopped where this is the color of creativity, like that bright, like orange fire that you'd see for a lion and then likewise the blue that you would see with a water sign so it's about finding that balance in the middle and remembering that everything comes full circle now rainbows represent our wishes our hopes and our dreams now so it takes time to go around the circle right and it requires this balance in between like in whatever it is that we're creating so it's like what are you creating what are you manifesting what is it that you're hoping for you're gonna have to wait a little while Okay, you're going to have to find the balance between your emotions and your excitement. <laughs> okay, so that's hard. That's why it feels boring. Um, but these are actually going out into the universe and therefore shall come back to you. So it's like whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or you're trying to create, it will come. Um, it just sometimes takes time and it's going to be boring while you wait. So, um, you know, if that requires other people to help you along the way or your spirit guides, your angels, whatever, this stone is going to help you. But it's also about emotional healing and that stability and kind of remembering the good things about you when you're feeling a little bit neglected um, in the month of January. So one thing that they say, like, if you are going to, like, take up a spiritual hobby, like, you know, meditation or tarot, for you, I think Aries had the same thing. It was exercise. You might find a lot of benefit from that. You might have some aha moments while you're like jogging or walking or something like that. So this is a good thing for you to focus on. Now, as I mentioned, like I was um, kind of rolling these astrology dice to get a vibe for you this month. Like, okay, what is going on? So it doesn't necessarily mean this is what your astrology is, but it's like a, an astrology type of correlation to what your vibe is for this month. And so you had the sun, which is about who you are in the first house. So it's about like your personality and your appearance and how other people see you. And so you know, the vibe this month, isn't it interesting how this all works out and kind of comes together? is about like, okay, how do other people perceive me? Because that might be who I actually am. Like this isn't a month where people like shit talk you. This is a month where like people see you as who you are, okay? But you might not notice that and you might feel kind of lonely, but other people can see the benefits of like who you are and what you have to offer. So hopefully you do too. And then you can use that and create something beautiful for yourself or for the world. Because art doesn't necessarily mean painting or singing or dancing, although it can. Um, it's anything that you're creating and your wishes and your hopes and your dreams are here. So like even if you're in the shower and you're singing a song, like what are you creating? You're creating like a happy experience for yourself in the shower, you know? So anyway, kind of a kind of a strange reading, very different than everybody else had. So what else is it that you need to know for the month of January? And they're saying um, the star, which everybody knows. We call that the hope card. It's about what is it that you're trying to create? What is it that you desire? What is it that you want? So if these feelings of being alone and being unsupported by other people or the universe or whatever um, right now is getting you down and inhibiting you from creating something wonderful, um, just just throw that shit to the side. That's not serving you. That's not helping you. You really want to focus on what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. I want you to take, pay close attention. Look at how, how this person, she just looks like kind of effed up, right? That might be the way that some of you are viewing yourself because you're feeling kind of lonely right now. Like you're not getting a lot of attention from other people. But they're like, no, no, that's not who you are. We see you completely different. Um... You see this right here? Uh, it's like black and white and it's like, you know, kind of dualities. Um, but then there's all of this call for balance here as well. And, you know, like these things that are growing and they're beautiful. So it's like sometimes you see yourself as disheveled. Other times you see yourself as beautiful. But essentially it's like everybody, for the most part, like, sees you as this, like, beautiful being. So why is it that you're looking at yourself this way just because you're not having, like, certain needs met attention-wise? Like, it's not, no, that's not, that's not the way you're supposed to be. What you're supposed to do in these moments where you're bored or you're lonely is to create something beautiful. 
um, because it will benefit you, but it'll also benefit all those people who are admiring you at afar, but are maybe too busy to reach out. Does that make sense? Because you do have love and support. You do have people who care about who, you who are watching what you're doing. Um, they're just not communicating that in the month of January. So talk to you in February and love and light. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!